everyone. I have just realised that I have reached 100 subscribers on my channel, which I know isn't a lot, but hey, I want to thank you all so very much for following me and taking an interest in what I am doing and my husband. Um, if it wasn't for him and his support, as well as the love of God, we wouldn't be able to do this. Um, it's so important. Um, homelessness is everywhere, every country. Um, look, if we can make a small difference to some of the homelessness, um, making them more comfortable, warmer, I know there's a lot of agencies out there that actually do help but there's not enough uh, resources to help everybody. So with keeping that in mind, um, look, anything that we can do to try and alleviate some of the suffering will be a blessing to them and it's a blessing to be able to help those in need. Um, please... Um, share with anyone that you think might be interested in following in what we're doing um it will be greatly appreciated um just to get the word out if some people from each country was able to do stuff like this different areas of different countries it would be fantastic just to alleviate the suffering. Um, rents have gone up, oh, well, so much in the past year. Um, I know I say I'm a lot, but I've got to try and stop that because it is annoying, I understand. Um, <clears throat> and here we go again. <laughs> uh, look, the rents are so high it's actually pushing people out of housing rental accommodation there's not enough cheaper places nobody can afford it these days what do we do if we can't afford to live somewhere we can either we've got a choice where we can pay the rent and have a roof over our head or pay the bills or buy food some times it's impossible there's I know there's a lot of people who are on a good wage they own their home they don't have to worry about paying rent or mortgage because they own their own home and they're very fortunate um, to be able to just go out and <clears throat> buy food and pay their bills and not have to worry about mortgage, rent, whatever, bank loans. But there are a lot of people living under the poverty line and or on the poverty line or even just marginally above the poverty line, which actually is a big issue. There's a lot of people, there's a lot of agencies, but there's too many people for the agencies to be able to help everyone. That is why we feel, my husband and I both feel that if we can help at all, we're not rich by any means. We're both on minimal income supplements um, of, from the government. Uh, we use what we need to pay our rent and bills and anything left over we put directly into buying things for the homeless people whether it be gloves, socks, um, sleeping bags, uh, emergency shelters which are like tents, um, munchies that we can put in because you know, there's, okay, there's soup vans and other places 
that uh, do feed the needy, but they're only on set times or set days. Some places are open 24 hours a day. There's one in St Kilda that is 24-7, um, but I'm not sure about anywhere else. I've been looking and the the assistance is only very minimal or it's within certain times. And if they can't get there for some reason, they miss out. Um, and it's not every day anyway. So if we can help, it's all glory to God. So... Yeah, please share with your friends, with your family. Let people know what is going on. Um, I'm not sure about, well, this is Australia. I'm not sure about America. I know it's pretty bad over there. Um, it's not like that here. We don't have people, tents everywhere and, and stuff. The, it's not really allowed. So this is why we can't find them during the day. They sort of blend in, but at night I don't even know where they hang out. So the best thing I can do is go around to where these charities are giving out food and come across them there when they come. So and give them a bag with gloves and socks and raincoat, uh, just, you know, little snacks some band-aids, some tissues, uh, some hand wet wipe things, um, sanitary products for the ladies. I know there's a lot of agencies. Well, there is an ag agency, a few agencies that actually do deal with uh, giving out sanitary items to the ladies. But that is something that is an ongoing issue, I mean, excuse us for being women um, look just have putting a couple of in each bag for the ladies is good because then if they don't have anything if they've used it from last time and they don't have something when they're caught out hey that's a couple of extra things there that they can use until they get some more uh, if you have any idea of what else you think that people might need, please let me know below. I would really greatly appreciate any anything that you think that I might be able to get to help these people. Um, I don't give money because money is not something that I have a lot of and every spare penny or dollar cent goes straight into buying things to give to people um, but yeah if you can think of anything if you have any suggestions uh, if you have any suggestions on what you would like to see with this channel please let me know and all glory to God because I would not be able to do this by myself. And thank you so much for your support. And I hope you have a fantastic day. It's very cold and wintry here. I want to get out and give some people some things today. And hopefully that will keep them dry in this horrible, rainy, wintry day. <laughs> so you have a great day and God bless you wherever you are. Thank you very much for your support. Bye for now. I love you and Jesus loves you more. Bye.